hip hop. We are talking about breaking, MCing, graffiti writing, DJing, beatboxing. Stop here. These elements, or actually I should say breaking, MCing, graffiti writing, DJing, are called the core four elements of hip hop established by Africa Bambada in 1974, and then again with James Brown in 1981. The reason we do break in MC and graffiti art and DJing is to cause peace, love, unity, and safely having fun. This is the reason for hip hop. It's the reason why we did it originally. We were growing up in the 70s in a time where our, our self-expression was being ignored by the mainstream. We, we weren't in television, we were nowhere in magazines, nowhere in media, nowhere in education, nowhere in even justice and things like medicine and like that, like with hip hop was like, what you see today, hip hop is everywhere. Imagine the complete opposite in 1973. Hip hop is nowhere. In fact, the name hip hop is like me saying to you today, gabaga. Gaba guy. They say, what, what, what is that you're doing, Gaba guy? <laughs> and the same way you react is the same way the mainstream reacted to us. When we're spinning on our head, hitting up the trains. Oh, wait a minute, let me slow down. For those that aren't bilingual, <laughs> we are spraying graffiti on the spray cans on the side of trains in New York City. They were parked in the train yard. We used to go to the train yard and put our names up on the side of the train. Then the next day, you'd see your name dry, go by on the side of trains. And this was like a cultural competition that we called aerosol art. Mainstream called it graffiti art. We never called it graffiti art. We called it graffiti writing, aerosol art, bombing, tagging, etc. Try to remember this. Uh, it'll come in handy later on. <laughs> 1973, a Jamaican uh, guy by the name of Clyde comes from Jamaica in 1967, actually, with his family. His father was a mechanic. His mother was a nurse from Jamaica. Uh, they had a, a, two children, brother, sister, Cindy and um, Clyde. Uh, on Cindy's birthday, Cindy asked Clyde to be her DJ. Clyde was a graffiti writer, uh, and uh, she asked him to DJ her party where they lived. They lived at a place called 1520 Sedgwick Avenue in the Bronx. There was a community center there. They rented it out. And because of Cindy asking her brother Clyde to DJ for her, he changed his name from writing Cool Ass Clyde, Cool Ass Clyde, to uh, Cool Herc. He started calling himself Cool DJ Herc. Why Herc? Because Herc is short for Hercules. This dude was big, and he had muscles, and her neighborhood was just, just called him Hercules. So his DJ name became Cool DJ Herc. What he would do is take James Brown's record specifically, and this other record called Apache by the Amazing Bongo Band, and he would just play the breaks of these records over and over and over again in this style that he called the merry-go-round. And the merry-go-round was a mixture of Jamaican-style DJs. See, let me go back, make sure you got this. In Jamaica, there's a thing called sound systems. And these sound systems are DJs with their own sound systems, speakers, amps, etc. They would come out in a big yard, even bigger than this. And they would set up their sound system and play reggae music. Now they would play the regular reggae of the day. But then if you flip the record over, there was something called a version. And the version was the instrumental of that record. They'd flip the record over and some other dude would come and start saying anything to the crowd to get the crowd riled up. The selector, which is what you call a DJ today, was called a selector. This person would be using the mixer to throw the music in. So if the music went ba 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 if it went like that, he would take the mixer and go ba 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 ba. He wouldn't let the music go ba 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 ba. He wouldn't let it do that. Now, 
Cool Herc brings that to the United States. His sister's party begins. August 11th, 1973, nine o'clock in the afternoon, I mean in the evening, for 25 cent, hip hop began. Cool Herc started playing the breaks of records. Now how do I know this? Because I lived across the street. <laughs> in, in 1973, I was eight years old and I lived across the street. I was there in 1600 Sedgwick Avenue in the Bronx. Cool Herc lived at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue and I could see his building from my window. Now he threw his party, but I couldn't get in. I was too young and I couldn't afford it. It was 25 cents to get in. <laughs> Big money in those days. <laughs> couldn't afford it. So Cool Hurt started doing these parties every weekend. The first one was great. He made some money. He said, let me do this again and again and again. The parties got so big that he had to take them outside. That's when little guys like me got a chance to join in on this new thing that they called the jam. It was just called a jam. No flyers, nothing. It was just called a jam. Funky drama or something. A one, two, three, four, hit boom, boom. And you just look out your window, you listen, you say, that sounds like it's coming from 123 Park. Or no, that sounds like it's coming from Wingate Park. No. And then you'd have to walk around the neighborhood and find where the sound was coming from. This is how, this is the early days of hip hop. In that time, we're all dressing like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Laugh if you want to. This is real. Everybody in early hip hop in the Bronx was Bruce Lee. Everybody. 1973, it's very hard First of all, Bruce Lee was not just a uh, kung fu martial artist to the hood, to the Bronx ghetto. He was a, a more like a mythical hero. And the reason being is because, first of all, he knew kung fu, and that just went over well with every kid in, the, in, 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 in urban areas. And he just did it like that. Bruce Lee also, if you look at his movies, there's one called um, uh, Enter the Dragon, 1973. And at the beginning of Enter the Dragon, they, they, they have a golden issue series that they put out right now. But at the beginning of, 